Right, today I want to show you how to do some more regression. Um, I'm going to use Desmos, but I'm also going to use Excel and kind of just compare between the two. So you can choose which one works best for you. So this is a graph um, that I saw today and I thought it'd be a really good one to use. So it says COVID-19 pandemic revises PC demand. So what you can look at here is from 2006 up to 2020 and showing you the PC demand it's giving in millions of units. So we are going to find um, a cubic function that models the PC demand in millions X years after 2006. So I'm trying to model things that are um, in the book that I used for homework so that it makes it easy to do the homework. So trying to keep the wording the same. This is why I picked cubic because it matches the homework um, that I'm trying to show this for. So let's start in Excel. I think that's a good way to just kind of take the data we have and turn it into a chart. So I'm just going to take all of these years, 2006 to 2020, and then the demand and put it into Excel. Okay, so over in Excel, you can see I put the years in, and this time I did go ahead with 2006 up to 2020. We'll do that in a minute. And then I put the PC shipment in millions. Um, beside it so that we know what all the labels are. Now, the wording and the problem said to give um, the equation as the number of years after 2006. So I need to make a quick adjustment. So I'm going to insert a column and I just want to change the years to be the years after 2006. So I'm going to hit equals. That tells Excel to do math. I'm going to click on this column and subtract 2006. And it really, I just clicked on the cell, not a whole column. So I'm subtracting 2006 and it says that's zero years. I'm just going to get on the corner and drag that down. That way it'll do it for all of it. So now this is X, which is my number of years after 2006. Um, if I want to do Desmos, what's nice is once I've put it in Excel, I could highlight all of it. Notice I'm going to hit Control C. Control C says copy, and then I'm going to bring up Desmos. So in Desmos, I'm going to click in the first cell and push Control V, which is paste. So that way I can take this that I've already done and bring it over. But the Control C, Control V seems to work the best way. So Control C, copy, Control V, paste. And now I can see all my values. And it did zoom it in so you could um, like see all the values. So it did like a little fit for you. All right. If I want Desmos to do the regression, then I'm going to put in Y1. And remember, we go down to the keys that say, um, I have this little tilde down here. Um, and remember, it's cubic, so I have to go A, X1 cubed, plus B, X1 squared, plus C, X1 plus D. So the A, B, C, D are just coefficients for the powers of X cubed, X squared, X, and then um, X to the zero. And we don't have to write that. So now you can see it put our, um, our new regression function in there. There's our cubic function. It tells us the values of A, B, C, and D. Now pay attention to those because I want you to see we're going to get the same thing if we decide to go over to Excel. Um, so I just want you to compare the two. So let's go back over to Excel. In Excel, remember I have all of these already there. Um, I'm just going to click over so I can do it again. So let's highlight the X and then the shipment. So I'm not the year, but the X, that's important. And I'm going to say insert. And the chart I want to do is a scatter plot. So it's just just like it did over in Desmos, where it just plots those points so you can see it. And similar to Desmos, it gives you um, a window that it thinks is appropriate. So this looks kind of pretty, right? So I'm just going to go to these little points and I'm going to right click. So the right click brought up a menu. And what I want to add um, is a trend line. That trend line is its version of regression. So in the trend line, it gives you choices. By default, it comes out to a line. You can see that doesn't fit at all. So we want a polynomial. It is set at degree two, which would be quadratic. And again, you see it doesn't fit. It has too many curves for that. So we're gonna click the order, meaning the degree, up to three. Now we could click higher and it would fit better, but the problem says give a degree three. So we are going to do what the problem says. We're gonna give a degree three. So this degree three looks kind of good. It kind of follows those points. 
or you don't have the equation yet, so notice down here on the trend line, it says display equation on the chart. So let's display the equation on the chart. It's a little small and a little in the way, so I'm just going to move it around, highlight it, and then increase that font so I can actually read it. Okay, remember I said kind of like, let's compare contrast. See this 3471? Um, this is 347, and you can see it rounded, so there's the one. B was negative 8838. There's negative 8838. So you can see it's the same numbers. Um, you get the same thing. So I like that you have some choice here. You can decide which one you want to use if you're doing the regression. So if you like Excel and you like to put things in Excel, that's awesome. If you like Desmos, you can use Desmos. Um, if you're like me, I do both because I like to see that I got the same answer on both and it doesn't take too much time.